We're in making a new club? I mean, it's not an official cl school club yet, though. I think she called it. Oh. I think she called it. The Tribal Studies Research Club? I'll join in just to be around that teacher. Creeper. Hey! Stand up! Face forward! Bow! Hi. Kauri. Uh, what do I know? Kauri is from Ozmonga Dio. That show is adorable. That's a slice of life anime. Go away, bug! Not you. You're, you're not a bug. You're a hell You did what? Ohio! Sure feels nice out today. Kauri Yamashiro! Cookie time! Cookie time! Yay with the treaties! Want some treaties? Do you want some treaties, Tato, Tato, Tato brain? They don't want some treaties. Say thank you for those treaties! Thank you for those treaties! Nom, 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 nom. I don't know how long this demo is, guys. I'm gonna. Uh oh, we got flashy lights. Yuri with the five, don't stop. Want some more? Want some more treaties? Want some more treaties? Thank you, Yuri, take a photo of five treaties. Um, nom, nom, good stuff. I gotta make you guys do high fives and stuff. I keep forgetting to do that. Thank you, photo of three. That's just pretty simple. Miss Yamanashiro, is it true we're getting a transfer student? Oh, you're awfully quick. Where did you hear that? Hi, here. There's a fresh-faced looking boy by the teacher's office. It's already a big rumor around the girls. Yep, and I heard he was talking to you. Ka I miss Miss Yamashiro. She must be friends with the kids because they try to uh, address her by first name. Rumors professor here that on the end. You're right. So I can cut right to the chase. I like her necklace thing. I'm listening to the conversation from the hall through the classroom door. I'm nervous, even though I don't care about any of this. Oh, let's get him introduced. Come on in. I swallowed extra spit in my mouth, which I literally just did in real life. This is stupid. Why am I getting nervous? I don't care about this. I place my hand on the doorknob and open the door with determination. All eyes turn towards me. As if to avoid them, I quickly rush to the teacher's lectern. Morning yesterday in 2A. Yes, Miss Yamanashiro. Er, Miss Yamanashiro, aka a Cowron, stops for a moment and stares at me. This is, uh, Bay Bay Big Pap. <laughs> I bow quickly. I'm sure he's unfamiliar with a lot of things here, so please teach him not just about the school, but about town. Well then, why don't you say a word? Uh, yes. I look around th through slightly downcast eyes. My heart begins beating faster. Maybe I am nervous after all? My name is Vebe Big Pap. Uh, I'm pleased to meet you all. I say that and bow. There's a small scattering of claps. Question! A boy raises his hands energetically. Look at this guy's hair! Ah! Uh. Why did you decide to come to this town and here in the countryside? What is this goofy guy? As his family's been so obviously. Anyway, Mr. Big Bad, you should leave me by the window. That was cold, Calvin! Next to the boy who's shouting right now. Ah, uh, over here, alright. Hey, new kid, over here, over here! You gotta be kidding me. Entire class burst into laughter. The boy must be the class clown, or perhaps the troublemaker. I bow again and make my way back to the class. The other students throw me curious looks. Hey, new kid. It's super lucky you get into this class. Is that right? He starts talking to me. Alright, he starts talking to me as soon as I sit down. Karen's Miyate's high school super Madonna. Just look at her beauty. Yeah, I saw it. With his encouragement, I take another look at the homeroom teacher, Miss Yamanashiro. Oh, it's... Why is it question marks? Is it not the goofy kid? It's like all your masculine desires are being purged just by breathing the same as you know what I mean? I don't know who... Oh, that is the new kid. I just don't know his name yet. That's why. Masculine desires. Hey, Asagi, you're freaking loud. 
Oh, what a keep. Asagi is not the sweetest name. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation here. I'm teaching new kid a thing or two. Sheesh. Oh, my name's Kinsuke. Asagi, nice to meet you. All right, I'm meeting a bunch of people. He sticks his hand out, and I find myself shaking instinctively. No more chatting, Mr. Asagi. Can I be cl begin class now? No objections! The class laughs again. I guess he's the class clown. Let's turn to page 49 in the text box. The connection between secular and supernatural beliefs is essential. The sound of Miss Yamashiro riding on the chalkboard fills the room. I feel everyone's attention shifting from me. It's sort of a liberating sensation. Is there some meaning behind my being here? The lukewarm wind of June blows in from the window. Purple light girl! I slowly close my eyes and focus on the sensation of the wind on my cheek. At that moment, I feel the sting of freezing cold gaze hitting me from the opposite direction. Was I right? Hi, I like your hair. From the back of the classroom by the door, a girl staring at me with a strong and shiver inducing glare. Bug! Can't get it. But it's only for a moment. She suddenly turns to face the blackboard. It was like she was looking directly into my heart. I've been stabbed by that glare once before the night I arrived in this town. My heart begins to pound even harder when I was standing at the lectern earlier. She looked nothing like the purple eyed girl. I guess she kind of did. So Girl was purple. Purple eyed. My long first day of being a transfer student is coming to an end. Kensuke Asagi is more meddling than I had imagined. Oh, wait. He's more generous than I'd imagined. He taught me everything from the lockers to purchasing lunch tickets. Mystery club. So, yeah. Officially, it's a tribal studies research club. Kaoran Yamashiro is recruiting a few students as a trial. The Tribal Studies Research Club is called the Mystery Club? That's weird. Wouldn't it be the Tribal Club? Oh, nobody knows exactly what kind of activities they'll do. People are saying they're kind of solve ancient questions. So, like a Mystery Research Club. Mystery Research. So it's Mystery Club for short. Exactly. Karen teaches Japanese history, but her specialty is the tribal studies. I don't know what that means. You said Mish Yamashiro was recruiting people for the club? Does that mean she's not accepting applications? Right. Well, you know, a lot of guys want to be around her just because of her, you know, just because of her. So, maybe she'll get bombarded with applications if she just lets everyone apply normally. Plus, she's a hot streak recently. A hot streak? Oh, oh, you didn't even know! She wrote a book last year and it sold like crazy. It's called World End. And it's a romance novel based on the Yomibito legend from here, Miyate Town. It's been out for about a year, but they're even talking about making it into a movie. Wow. So, all things considered, Karen's probability is skyrocketing. She won't even let me into this club of hers. Huh. Did you want to get in, Kensuke? That's the teacher. Nope. Hey, Jay, to stop. Of course! i do anything to be in a club with her as the advisor. I even made a request to join. And she told me I had to write up a report if I wanted to join, and I poured my heart and soul into the SSA. Even then, she dropped me. Damn, Kaoran, you're such a tease. Really? There's another reason I want to be in the Mystery Club. That is... Stops right there, then leans in closer to whisper to the rest of me. The people she lets in the Mystery Club are all top-notch hotties. Nice. She sacrifices them, doesn't she? Is that right? Or, is that right? Well, they all have some personality effects, but... Huh? Ah, uh, nothing. Anyway, I'll help you join this club. Come on, let's go. Uh, I'm not, I'm not interested in tribal studies or a mystery club. Uh -huh. Yeah, over here. He grabs my arm and starts walking. Hey, wait, wait. It's all good. Just shut up and follow my lead. I'm not trying to, to piggyback on getting in or anything. Relax. Sure you're not. You're saying it loud and clear, Kensuke. What is this game? Kensuke forcefully pulls me along and 
we come to the building concentrated with specialized classrooms. Right! Er, right here! The mystery club uses the room next to the social studies room. I see a plaque reading social studies study room. Isai. Sorry, Kensuke, but I don't intend to join the club in the first place. Are you serious? You're gonna be one of the Go Home Club members? <laughs> Hell yeah, that's totally me. Not exactly. Anyway, I don't plan on joining a club. Listen up, new guy. Let me tell you something as your best friend. Best friend. Have you heard of the theory that your 17th year is your strongest? Nope. Never heard of it. How do you know I'm 17, by the way? It'll take all time, all day to explain, so I'll summarize it. Anyway, you're basically invincible when you're 17. Uh... You should make such fruitless decisions like go home club while you're invincible. That's it! Now that you understand that, just go visit it once. We'll talk afterwards. Go get him, partner! Uh, no, wait. Kensuke reaches for the door. Are you interested in my club? That's my teacher, right? Her voice sticks in my eardrums and pleasant fragrance sticks in my nose. Okay, this is teacher. Wondering, new kid? Kaorin! What a goofball. Kaorin! I turn around to see Kaorin Yamashiro. Or Kaori. Oh, hi. It's good to see you shopping around for clubs on your first day. A lot of kids these days go right home. Uh, it's not what it looks like. Kensuke forced me here and, uh, uh, Kensuke reaches around from behind me and covers my mouth with his hand. <laughs> yeah, Kaorin! He says he's dying to learn about the tribal studies. He dragged me over here saying the only club he's interested in is the mystery club and he wanted my help. He sure doesn't look that way. Ah, oh, he's just a little shy, right? Right? <laughs> Kensuke! What are you? As you may have already known, the Tribal Studies Research Club is not official. This is purely my own personal group. That's why I'm not accepting applications. I only talked to a few freshmen and juniors to set this up. I know! Club activities will vary. In a nutshell, we'll be researching the world's mysteries from mysteries from a tribal view. See, I told you, the Mystery Club, right? Mystery Club sounds too informal, don't you think? I'll take a name like Tribal Studies Research to get approval. But it's a Mystery Club for short. I don't care what it is an official name is. In any case, I don't intend to increase the headcount. But... New kid? Yeah? If you are interested, maybe I'll give you a special entrance screening. What? Seriously? You're really giving him a chance to join the club? I'm actually a little curious about you personally. She probably sacrifices everyone. Miss Yamashiro smiles slightly. My major was in Japanese tribal studies. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. We study how the people of Japan came to realize their values and lifestyles in this small island nation. Ow, Karen, I feel you. I don't understand you, but I feel you. Let's see. To put it in layman's terms, it's the process of facing death, for example. There's a legend in Mihate Town about Yomibito, with the dead return to the world. How did that legend begin? Humans can't endure death. I feel that the legend has to have a root in a deeper tradition. If you're interested in joining my club, find me a thesis paper. The length is up to you. Understood! I'll have it ready by tomorrow. I read your essay the other day, Asagi. I was impressed by your thoroughness, but I can hardly call it a thesis. That's the kind of thing you should be sending as a love letter to your classmate, not to me. Ha! Oh, I guess my feelings couldn't reach you. The thieves were comparable to our hearts. Compatible to, with our hearts. Yimsa. Then, this time, the theme you're saying will be... Hmm. There's that ding noise. What you're made of. Okay, why the zoom in and why the cutting out of the music and why the ding sound? That's right, new kid. Why the ominous music? What are you made of? What makes you tick? That's what I want to know. 
Why you gotta get creepy? What I'm made of. I feel a piercing sensation in my heart. What am I? Right. I thought you weren't letting anyone new join the club. Look at her little hair thing. Whoop. It's her, the girl from class, the one who stared at me. So I thought. Miu. Do you bring the textbooks from the classroom? Yes. Have you two met already? This is Miu Yamana. In the same class. Uh, not, not yet. It's very <laughs> distracting music. I lower my head slightly as if to say hello. But Miu seems to have no intention of making eye contact with me at all. That's kind of awkward, huh? Mew, the Tribal Studies Research Club is my personal activity. I'll choose if we had new members or not. But before that, I'm not sure if he has any motivation to begin with. I'll look forward to your report. She smiles slightly and then goes into the study room with Mew Amana. Oh my god, I'm tired! Once the two of them are gone, Kensuke Asagi opens his mouth once more. Amana's always like that. She's not all the sociable. Well, she's not sociable at all, actually. Either she's a complete jerk, twisted, or senile. Those aren't all some pretty serious slanders. Oh, those are all some pretty serious slanders. I can see someone's personality just by looking at them once. She's the kind of person, trust me. Uh-oh. Excuse me. What kind of person am I then? I need more voices. Hey, it's you! Ah, oh, my. Mayumi! Mayumi! Come on, say it. What kind of personality do you think I have? Okay, listen, Mayumi. Let's say I did accurately describe you. What then? Only silly or relationship. Yeah, he's gonna say something. Just her off. What? I'm hearing you're definitely going to insult me. Just think about it. Who benefits from me telling you that you're. That you're only cute if you're quiet. Or you're a violent slob. Wait. Haha. <laughs> That's one heck of a punch. Hanging around with this guy isn't good for you. You're better off getting as far away from him as you can. Thanks for the warning. Oi! Mimi! How do you not know the new kid? He just transferred here today. He's my cousin. We think. Probably. What? I never knew that! What do you mean? Probably. Mimi, I thought you didn't want anyone knowing that. Ah, crap! I supposed to keep it down on the download, I forgot. Too late now. But you've been here for one day and you've already hanging around with this idiot? Oh, look, I gotta choose something. I don't know. He's actually not that annoying, but he's also kind of not cool. What do you think, chat? I guess he has been cool. He's been showing me around the school and teaching me stuff. He's been nice. Alright, he's been cool. A cool guy? Uh, let me explain to you with three letters. I mean, that's impossible. You can't describe me in three letters. That's clever. <laughs> that's clever. Because pervert in Japanese is three characters. <laughs> that's funny. I think it is anyways. Pervert. <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe, maybe that's not what it, they're referencing. That's more th Come on. If you guys are cousins, don't tell me they're living in the mansion with Miami, are you? I hold my tongue and I look at Miami. That's right, he's basically came to this town because of that mansion. You're living alone in the mansion up to now, are you, Miami? So the two of you are. Oh my god! Yep, we're sharing a roof. What she said. 
This is a scandal! Major scandal! She's my cousin. If you start spreading... Oh, wait. Wrong voice. If you start spreading any weird rumors, I'll kick your ass! She will, dude. Yep. See? 